Okay, this little tiny box arrived today. Let's get it open and see what we got. Okay, yeah, you've probably seen this knife before. It's from K-Bar. Here it is, straight out of the box. Here's the sheath. It is the K-Bar United States Marine Corps, I guess, Bowie knife, fighting knife. Wow, I can smell that leather from here. <sighs> Smells like brand new pair of boots. <laughs> really nice leather smell. Fairly thick. Uh, is it a sticker on it there? It says sheath made in Mexico. Yeah, it's got a, like a brass snap on it there. A great big belt loop, probably three, four inches. Uh... Let's check that real quick. Yeah, over four inches. Okay, get that blade protector off. And there it is, look at that. Got a little dust on it. K-Bar, Olean, New York. It's got like a epoxy, a black epoxy coating on it. It's got the hand guard. It has the stacked leather uh, O-rings, I guess you'd call them. They go down over the tang for the handle. There's like a little space in between each little stack. They're polished very nice. Here is the pommel. And you can see that's the rat tail tang or the stick tang. Clear at the end there. Got a little lint on my thumb. And see that stainless steel pin right there? That's actually a good thing. That shows that this is pinned properly. So this knife isn't just going to like fall apart on you if you use it kind of heavily. Like maybe some for some light batoning or... If you were in combat or something along those lines. Like when I see this, I don't see something like an eyesore by any means. That's that's a good thing right there. Fits really nice. Look at that, a perfect fit in my hand. I couldn't ask for a better fit. You could use this to break windows or hammer in tent stakes or hammer someone's head if you if it was a self-defense life or death situation i guess it's pretty thick not quite a quarter of an inch it doesn't really feel like a 90 degree if it is it could be the coating making it feel smoother so i don't know that it would throw sparks from a fire steel very well unless you uh, maybe ground that made a little more square but wow that does it feels really nice okay let's get some measurements okay you're looking at about it says six and a half but if you consider that it actually curves up the belly there it's probably a near a seven inch blade it is 12 inches overall Got about a five inch handle. Quite nice. Feels like, where's the balance point? Maybe just be, just behind the guard, I think. Yeah, about right there. Ooh. So this is your balance point. Feels kind of light, real light, quick blade. I like that. It's pretty nice. 
It's kind of an oval grip, if you can see that, with a belly in the handle, kind of like a palm swell. And it's not perfectly round. It is kind of an oval. So that's kind of neat. I like that. The hand guard prevents your hands from slipping up onto the blade, of course. Okay, let's do a paper cut test. This is straight out of the box. I haven't done anything to this blade. Got a sheet of printer paper there. Two sheets, actually. Okay, there's a sheet. Let's see how sharp this knife is. Well, there you see it. That is extremely sharp. That is a very sharp knife. Wow. That's sharp. Be careful with this one. Okay, here this beauty is inside of its sheath. Doesn't that look good? Like the, the leather with the leather, stacked leather handle. That looks really nice. And you can see it goes the whole way down in. You gotta use a little pressure for this last little bit right here, but it does go in. This could be used to put a lanyard string through to hold it to your leg, but it also lets water drain out of the sheath because this sheath, I mean, this knife is 1095 Crovan carbon, high carbon steel, which is an excellent knife steel, but it can rust if you don't take care of it. All right, one of the upgrades I've seen to this knife that some people recommend is putting number 15 plumber's O-rings into these little grooves. And they say it increases your grip, which I imagine it would. And it feels okay. Not like it's a super necessity by any means. But I did buy some, and I'm going to put them on to see what they look like right now. So... Let's see what that is. Okay, I got four of them on so far. They just go right over the butt cap. And this is the last one right there. And see how you just roll them with your thumb? And they literally just roll and fall right into place. And they're just tight enough that they're not going to slip out of those grooves. And there's, I bought a 10 pack of them for like $2.50 at Home Depot. And a K-Bar knife takes five of them, so have plenty. And yeah, it doesn't even really change the look of the blade, I mean the handle at all. Because it was already black in between, so it looks pretty much identical. And they just barely stick out, if you can see that. Hardly nothing. But you feel like this little kind of comfortable, little grippy O-rings on there now. And they can pop off too, like you just... Got to pry them out a little bit, but they will come out. You could even take and, like, just put a little cut in them and break each one if you wanted to. Well, there you have it. The 1095 Crovan High Carbon Steel Stacked Leather Handle. This is a World War II design. And this is the United States Marine Corps K-Bar very popular knife this is the full size with the straight edge i don't i don't really like the uh serrations so i got the straight edge very nice very comfortable and sharp man did this thing arrive sharp let's see if it fits in the sheath again with these with this little o-ring on or if that causes any issue okay, it still fits very snug fits like a glove I hope you enjoyed this video, everyone. This is Joe Doomsday, signing out.